We're now ready to export our model to Blender using the 3D Code AppLink Connection plugin, which will set up all of our material nodes for us. So we are ready to render straight away once we get into Blender. I will reset this to a blank scene. I'll go back to 3D Coat. From here, we'll go to the File menu, choose Export to, then Blender. I'll navigate to the Documents folder, App Links, 3D Coat, Exchange, and Blender folder. I want to make sure and use the FBX format, which works best with this App Link. I'll overwrite this file. So we'll choose our image file format. Then we'll choose Export Color, Export Roughness, Metalness. We do have an emissive map, so we want to check that as well as our normal map. We'll also select Export Low Poly Mesh, which is what we have here in the viewport anyway. The difference between Low Poly and Mid Poly is if you choose Subdivision when texture baking, it's going to provide this Mid Poly Mesh in the viewport. You'll still have the option to export the Low Poly version, which is what you have in the Retopo workspace. Let's go ahead and click OK. So I'll pause while it calculates. Okay, that's done. Now I'll go to Blender and I'll hover over the cube, then hit the delete key to remove that. I'll go to the upper right hand corner and click on this little arrow. Alternatively, I can hit the N key on my keyboard. That's N as in November. Then I'll click the 3D Coat tab. If you don't see 3D Coat here, that probably means the app link is not enabled. So let's go to the edit menu. If you are using Blender for the first time or the app link for the first time, you want to make sure that in the edit menu under preferences and under add-ons, you can scroll down to the import export section and make sure 3D Co app link is checked. Now this is installed along with many other default add-ons. You just have to make sure to enable it. So once it's enabled by checking it here, you can go ahead and save the preferences. And now in the 3D Coat tab, you have a few options to send a model that you have selected to any one of these workflows. These are based on the task you want to perform and it will put you in the right workspace. But in this situation, we want to simply get our model from 3D Coat. All right, I can zoom in, but I'm just going to switch to the shading tab. It's going to take a minute for it to initialize. All right, it's finished initializing. So I'll drag select over the object and on my number pad, I'll hit the decimal key and that will zoom extents. I can click outside the object to preview the object. Right now I'm in look development mode, which is a limited version of Eevee, but if we want to see the rendered version, either with Cycles or Eevee, we can select this icon in the upper right. You can see all of our materials are already set up and ready for us to render. I'll go to this 3D Coat App Links node and click on this icon in the upper right to expose all the individual maps. And we can go back. So you can see that would take quite a bit of time for us to have to set those up individually, especially object by object. So this is a massive time saver. Now let's go up to the render dialog and under EV, I'll check ambient occlusion and bloom since we have our emissive maps. And under volumetrics, I will uh, change that to four pixels by 128 samples and uh, volumetric shadows. I'll increase that a bit as well. For bloom, I can increase the amount here if I need. We are now ready to go into the render mode. But before I do that, I have an add on that I purchased for Blender called Pro Lighting Studio. And that will let me quickly set up my studio environment. And for a concept artist, this would be a good option to look into. Click here and look at the different lighting setups and choose uh, character setup. And look at all the presets. Okay. 
Let's try that one. For background, we can enable that. Also our floor and reflections and change that. Now let's click on that icon to go into render mode. And go back to lights. If I don't quite like this setup, I can change it to let's try maybe object setups. I uh, will choose a vehicle setup. Let's choose something like that. I'll need to make some adjustments to the background. Background color. Let's darken it up a bit. There are four. And adjust the reflectivity. There we go. We can also use an image overlay if we want. Choose something like that. And scroll down the texture scale. Okay, so we're back to no image overlay. All of this is with Eevee. We can see our emissive map working in the viewport. We can switch to cycles. I'm going to enable GPU compute. And Let's change our sampling to 512 in the viewport. I'm going to change the reflectivity on the floor. And with that, we will conclude this series on using 3D Code to quickly create concept art assets that can be used in any render engine. This includes real-time engines, which would otherwise struggle when importing high-poly meshes. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.